Dollywood is announcing plans to partially reopen. Season pass holders for Dollywood and Splash Country will have two exclusive days coming up on June 15th and the 16th. Then the parks will open to the general public on June 17th with some restrictions. Dollywood officials say everyone will be required to wear a face covering and have their temperature taken before they enter the park. Season pass holders will also have to make an online reservation. All general admission tickets will be sold for a specific date to limit daily capacity. The Tennessee Department of Health is reporting 447 new cases of COVID-19 across the state. This is a look at the 14 day average of new cases in Tennessee and you see it moving upward. Knox County Health leaders today reporting eight new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total now to 441. The total of active cases sitting at 101. The health department says it's working to help bring resources to groups where there are clusters of larger cases. However, it's still up to the public to play their part and research shows they aren't. 10 News reporter Leslie Ackerson explains. We want to stress to our community that this virus is still very much present. Coming on the heels of one of the highest days of new COVID-19 cases, Dr. Martha Buchanan with the Knox County Health Department addressed the public Wednesday, emphasizing an increase was expected but shouldn't be ignored. This increase in new cases is concerning, but as we have previously mentioned, we did expect to see an increase in cases as our community continues to reopen. As health leaders continue to investigate the rise, there's one thing they've found. The five core actions are not consistently followed. These actions won't eradicate COVID-19 from our community overnight, but they, will, they are critical to reducing the rate of transmission. Physical distancing, wearing a cloth face, face covering, washing your hands regularly and often, sanitizing surfaces regularly and often, staying home when you are sick or told to quarantine or remain in isolation. As the community enjoys the freedoms that phase two has brought, the health department hopes they'll start practicing those actions daily. So nothing about our guidance changes. Your risk is the same um, throughout Knox County, no matter where you live, no matter where you work, no matter where you play. So all of those things have to be observed all of the time. And we know it's inconvenient and people are getting tired of doing it but it's the only way we're gonna really move our community forward and not have to revert back to phase one. We don't wanna do that. Nobody wants to do that. Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. As far as how the current numbers affect moving to phase three in the coming weeks, the health department plans to work with city and county leaders and have some answers soon.